Hey everybody, it's me again. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to um, extract a pimple, otherwise known as Papa Zit. Um, okay, so as I said before, I know that everybody does this even when you know you shouldn't. So really, the only reason you shouldn't do it is because if you do it wrong, you can create a lot of scarring, you can create a, an infection, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. But if you do it properly, it's really, it's okay. Um, but before we start, before I show you my secrets, you have to promise me, raise your right hand, okay, promise me, you have to promise that, number one, you will always wash your hands and face before picking. That means no driving in the car, messing and scratching and, I, I mean, I know it will be it all because I've had a face full of pimples and I've done it all. Um, so you have to wash your hands and face first. You have to start clean. Um, because remember, the minute we make an opening in the skin, you're allowing for a new bacteria to go in. So if you're starting with makeup on and the day's dirt, forget it. Okay, so that's number one, clean hands and face. Number two, and this is a biggie, if you start to squeeze gently and nothing comes out, you will stop. You have to stop because that's the other place we all go wrong. And I mean, I've done it to myself even after being educated as an esthetician. With something about doing our own selves, we just think, oh, I can get it, I can get it oh, a little bit more because, you know, we feel that lump under there and we just don't know when to stop. So that's the other thing. You have to stop if nothing comes out. And then you can wait a day and try again later. The third thing is we're not going to pick any pimples that aren't ready and I know you want to and there are times when I'm able to take care of a client's um, pimple before maybe they would be able to take care of it but for you you really need to just leave it alone until it's really ready okay you got all the rules straight so here we go first thing you need um, I find that this is the best way for taking care of pimples with the least amount, the least risk for scarring. I always use, let me put this up there, this is a, um, a lancet. This is, they're used by diabetics uh, for um, testing blood sugars. I happen to be a type 1 diabetic, so I have lots of these around. Um, they're disposable and they are um, very hygienic because they're sterile. I've got different ones here. They all have different caps. Um, but they're all the same inside and they have different size needles but most of these are about the same so you just twist off the cap and i'm gonna put this up you see it's got an itty bitty tiny little needle that needle like i said it's sterile and it's the best way to make an opening so what you're gonna do is wherever your pimple is i wish i i've got one right there right now but it's not ready <laughs> um i'm going to use a freckle on my hand to show you so i've got aging skin that's already got all these age marks. So you see that little freckle? Let's say that was my pimple. What you want to do, and it's going to be hard using a hand, but you always want to spread that skin tight. Then you take your little lancet, and what I teach people, it's scary the very first time, but if you kind of bounce it in as opposed to pushing slowly, I mean, I could do it right now for you and make myself bleed, and it really doesn't hurt because these are such tiny little fine needles. They penetrate very easily but you just pop it like I just did it there I probably can make it bleed now um, you just barely yeah it's got a tiny little dot of blood let me see if you can see that see that tiny little dot right there um, that's all you need though you have to make a tiny little hole and where you want to make it is in the center somewhere around the center of, of the pimple and you know if it's all inflamed and hot and you've got that big lump kind of you can go center a little off to the side if you want, but you really want to get a good poke. Um, and if you don't do it fast and hard enough, and, and these are tiny little needles, so you can't do too much, um, but you've got to get enough that you're going to be able to get down there and get it out. And really, you barely feel it, I promise you. Every bit, most of my clients tell me the first time they do it, it scares them to death. Once they do it, it's kind of like, oh, I can do this. Um, but I, I really think that that is key. Um, so anyway, you're going to make your tiny little poke, and then once you've done that, you've made a little opening. See that little that little dot of blood now has gotten darker, you can see. Once you've got that little dot, then here's a, another thing that's really important. You're going to take a tissue, wrap your finger in it. Same thing with your other finger. And I use it doubled because what we're trying to do is protect um, your fingernail from, from touching because fingernails are full of bacteria and they also put real big dents in the skin. So let's pretend like I have one here. So you're going to pull the skin apart 
That's a freckle you're looking at right there. Let's pretend like that's a pimple. And then you're gonna push it together from underneath and then kind of wiggle gently. And then come around from another angle and do the same thing, wiggle. Now, remember what I said, with gentle pressure wiggling, if nothing comes out, you have to stop. And that's really hard. Um, and just give it a day. But most of the time, if it's ready, and if you put a good little hole in there, you're going to be able to get it out. Um, and I'm going to tell you what we do afterwards. I want to tell you about another kind of pimple first, and then I'm going to tell you how to finish up. Okay, now, if you have blackheads, and right around here, around the nose, around here, and then a lot of people get them on their foreheads. And the forehead is a good place to practice because, I don't know, I just don't think it's very painful. Around the nose can be very painful. Okay. So I'm giving you a really big secret, and many of you are going to probably write me hate mail saying, you should be doing that, but you, this really works. So we use something in the business called a comedone extractor. Some of you have your own at home, and you've done lots of damage to your face with them. But if you don't own one, this is just a little hairpin that I squeeze together. Um, same, I'm making the end of it sort of like a bobby pin. You can use a bobby pin also. This little round place right here is actually perfect for extracting blackheads. You don't have to go buy a $20 extractor. You can use this. Now, having said that, when you use this, you've got to be gentle because this will put a huge little dent in your skin. Um, and I mean, some of that can't be helped, but you, you don't want to overdo it. But this is perfect for applying just the right amount of pressure. Here's that old pimple again. Let me see if I can... Okay. So what you would do, pretend like that dot of blood is but you put this right all around it and then push down and kind of pull. And what that does is it puts even amount of pressure all the way around the pimple and then it pinches out that blackhead. And really, that's the best way to get rid of a blackhead. Um, squeezing with your fingers is not a good way to get rid of a blackhead. With your fingers works well for pustules, um, you know, the ones that are very filled. But for a blackhead, you really need something like this. And no, you do not need to poke it first. Um, you just put this, if it's on the side of your nose, you put right up around it and then really press. I will tell you though, the side of the nose hurts. Sorry. Okay, so then when you're done with um, any all of your squeezing all around your face, and I tell people, Make it something that maybe you do every Sunday because we're tempted when we're out and about, we feel something, we start scratching at it. That's really an awful thing to do. You can't do that because there's dirt under your fingernails, your face is dirty. So I tell my clients, tell yourself Sunday evening is your night. Take a nice hot shower or bath, really get your face clean, exfoliate it with a, you know, a mask or whatever you're using, and then very gently set about taking care of all the things that have bothered you all week. When you're done, then you're going to take a cotton pad or a cotton ball and use, if you have some salicylic acid um, toner, that's a great thing to use. Um, any type of toner, I'm not a big fan of alcohol. I know people think they've just done this to their skin, they have to use alcohol. No, you don't. Um, tea tree oil is awesome. Um, anything, you know, it, if you've washed your face to begin with, just anything, any toner you have is probably going to be fine. You don't really have to be all that strong. And I, I, I don't like alcohol in the face because it sets your oil glands into high gear to replace. Um, anyway, so just make sure you do um, something afterward to, to um, soothe and tone. Um, and then go about with whatever you use next, if you normally use a lightweight moisturizer or whatever. Um, the, other, the other tip I can give you about pimples, and I'm running out of time, is if you get one of those inflamed pimples that I talked about in my last video, the ones that hurt and they're really big, as soon as you feel one coming up, the minute you start to feel you're getting an underneath pimple, you feel it coming, you think, uh-oh, if you will put ice on it for three minutes, twice a day, you can... You can actually keep it from um, developing. It, it, it may just go away without ever forming into a big old ugly hot pimple. So that's just a little tip. Um, but as I said, you've got to catch it early and you have to do it twice a day for a few minutes each time. That can really save you getting one of those nasty old inflamed things. Um, so that's it. I hope this helped. If you have questions, uh, put them below. And remember your promise to me, wash your face first. Thanks. Bye.